Hello Pisces and welcome to your bi-monthly reading. We're going to take a look from the 16th to the end of August and remember my videos are timeless so whenever you are looking at this video it will be meant for you. There's something in this video. It may not be the whole part. It may be a piece of it. It may be your your friend's life that we're talking about but it has everything to do with you. You were guided to the video. So we're going to start off. Um, it's a general reading. We're going to look at love, career, finance, family, whatever I'm guided to tell you. And the overall message right now is you have a dazzling offer coming in. Something that sparkles and glitters where you might even be doubting if it's a real sincere offer. But let's take a look at whatever is meant for you to hear. Then we're going to look at each week individually. And we're going to pull out a lot of detail of Beyond Card and Romance for those of you where Pisces is in your, your Venus is Pisces. So the, we're beginning this two-week period with the ending and a transformation. An ending does not mean it's a bad thing, but boy, it does feel like it, doesn't it? It does. You may be a transitioner in life, Pisces, where you help people transition from one life to another, whether that's here on earth or in the afterlife itself. This ending that is taking place is going to transition your life into something different. The dazzling offer that I'm saying is coming in has everything to do with this new transformation that's taking place in your life. Where it's, is this really true? That's part of the transformation. That's part of the awakening experience where we can determine whether something is real or not by tapping into our higher self. You, as a Pisces in general, overall, you guys can tap into your intuition very, very well. You know exactly how to do that. And that's what is going to be called for over this next two weeks time frame. Now, August is a magical, magical month. It's an amazing month where even though we have struggles, we still have this opportunity to take a leap of faith to change from one course path to another. That is what is taking place. That's the overall message. This week is about transferring, tra uh, traveling for some of you into a new path. Something dazzling is going to come in for you. We can't get anything. We have to let go of something in order to get something new. So this is the ending that we're talking about. If this is career, you're ending a career, starting a new one. Maybe changing your major in school. Maybe the nonprofit organization is something new that you're going to be doing that you never thought you would be doing. It's out of the question, but yet here it is. So let's take a look at the first week and the second week. And romance will be at the end after the Beyond card because we want to move you beyond wherever you're at today. So we're starting off in this first week with the chariot. And the chariot is amazing energy where it's talking about moving forward. We also have the Four of Cups where you're waiting for this big dazzling opportunity and here it comes and it's going to shine more than all the others. Some of you, I feel that you are literally, in order to, to transform our life, create the life we want, we must be in alignment with our divine mas inner divine masculine and inner divine feminine. Now, that means you're going to use logic and emotions it isn't about being based on one more than the other. It's in the center. That's when we get the go button, the green light turns on, and we can change into what's being handed to us. And this is the dazzling offer coming in. So it's actually very, very beautiful for you as an individual, the potential of what is coming for you, Pisces. Now, I have a Pisces moon, so I totally identify with you guys because mine can be a little over emotional or under emotional, right? But whatever this is, it is, it's, it's a gift. It's like a universal gift coming in for you that you've been wishing for, you've been wanting, and it is going to fly in from out of nowhere. Now, when it comes to your career, this is an opportunity that is going to sparkle. It is going to dazzle you to the point where you are going to question yourself, is this real? And you will need to tap into your intuition to determine that. And you can always book a session with me. I have 20 openings available and then they'll close. 
this is something being handed to you. So it will require you to tap into your in intuition. It's a big deal. This is a, a two week period of time where your heightened senses are going to lead you in the right direction. Get in your car and drive to that interview because it's going to have the potential to literally change your life. When it comes to your family and your, uh, your family life, friends, people that you hold close to you, I do feel for some of you, you have somebody coming in who has been through this journey um, themselves. This may be somebody you were parted from 2-3 years. For the, Over the last 2-3 to three years, you were separated for whatever reason, whether this was the world separating you so that you could both go internally, or if something else took place, it was destined for you to be away from this person for this exact reason at this exact moment. Nothing happens by chance in life. And this is that big opportunity for you to to look at this person, at this situation, whatever took place, and make the changes needed because you are finally at a point where you are able to do that. So let's pull some more detail. And again, romance will be at the end of the reading. So we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Star card. Absolutely. This situation calls for some severe healing and it has been quite a journey for those of you who have gone through a self-analytical situation. And that's what the awakening is. We recognize all the people around us. So you could have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, definitely Aquarius is highlighted twice, a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn or any person that really is an excellent communicator they're financially secure, and for some reason, they led you to inner healing. This King of Swords is an opportunity on a career level that could be very, very promising and lead you to a lot of finances, a secure opportunity in the future. Security comes with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, it may be a government institution. For some of you, it has to do with the law. I feel it's judicial system and I actually see like um, child behavioral services for some of you where this is a, a lifelong opportunity. It's a career that will last you as long as you want it to happen. But it may sound a little bit dazzling because I feel they're going to offer you a position that is newly created or it has to do with you communicating to the public itself where you will be in the spotlight, you will be a star speaker for them. So that may be you going from schools and other legal institutions that you are talking about this particular avenue on behalf of this government institution. Whatever this is, it could be in any realm, any capacity of your work career, it is something brand new that is going to make you feel secure and this is what is dazzling you. That star card is amazing, okay? It is a beautiful card, meaning we get the rewards after we go through this journey. So Pisces, you've come so, so far to go through this journey, and here it is, a dazzling offer that is going to be highlighting you. It's putting you in the spotlight. So if you don't feel you can talk to other people, you're going to bring that out of you, a place you never knew you had inside of you, and you're going to start talking a lot. Now, when it has to do with family, friends, people around you, you have two people around you that there was healing that was needed. And this healing is very, very important. It was part of your journey, but it equally was part of theirs. So there's a lot of internal work that has to go through with this situation, but you are going to be speaking to both of these individuals. It could be one for some of you where they carry the energy. This could be a Libra Virgo borderline individual when we're looking at zodiac signs, but whomever this is, they do know how to speak very, very well. The beautiful part about this King of Swords individual is they are going to tell you the truth and they will come with a sincere long-term apology. So a lot of you, I feel this is a family member. This may be a couple, your parents, your children, who you've been away again that time frame that I had mentioned earlier. 
wonderful healing is going to take place. And these are them saying, I want to heal the situation. And that may be a miracle that you were asking for for quite some time with this Four of Cups. I miss my family. I want them back. I miss this person or both people if it's two people. Whatever this is, is going to dazzle you. It's going to be so, uh, so spectacular that you know without a doubt the universe is at play in this particular situation. So it's going to be incredibly amazing. So let's pull out some adversities because there is a lot of information we want to give you through this. And let's see what they want you to know when it comes to challenges. We have the Three of Cups. And remember, we will do love separately. At the end, we have the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So... The Three of Cups is joy, celebration with family, with friends, something coming in that is going to make you want to celebrate after a very long break. So when we're talking about a job, you've been wishing for a job, probably similar to what I'm saying. Some of you are like, I just want a job, okay? But this job isn't going to be just a regular one. It is going to be meant for you and you will know it and you will feel it because it's going to help you align your mind, your body and your soul, meaning your divine masculine, your divine feminine, and your true authentic self is going to say, oh baby, I know this is for me. This is the right job for me. If we just grab a random job, it may fill the, the, the void temporarily, but it may actually turn out to lead us back into the same situation because it wasn't really meant for us. This one is meant for you on a career level, and it's what you wish for. So that healing, the deep healing inside, make sure that you meditate, make sure that you pray, that you really go within yourself. That's the number one thing to making certain that this is for you. Now the adversity is here. The three of cups can also indicate a lot of gossip, especially when it comes to coworkers and you weren't, uh, aren't meshing with them and family members. So that three of cups can mean a third party situation in romance, which we'll get back to romance. But whatever this is, I feel that there was some negativity associated with a, more than one person around you, a group of people around you that you needed to take a step back and really analyze. So as you move forward, as you get this offer, you might have people around you saying, what are you doing? Why are you taking that job? Right? So look closer. Why are you getting back with that person or that family member? Why are you even speaking to them? It's going to be something very, very profound because it's so dazzling. You know the sparkles come from the universe that surround this offer, this opportunity. So the challenge is going to be ignoring the people around you and actually going into yourself, self-reflection, going into a a, a a transient state, which means we block everyone out around us. So you will even be sitting surrounded by these people and you'll be in your zone because in your zone is the answer to what you have. But yet with this, that's the challenge is to go from within. And that nine of cups, it's the wish that you wanted. It's what you wanted all along. And now it's being given to you, but yet there's apprehension. So this is going to be a challenge to understand, is this really meant for me? And you have to use your intuition, Pisces. So more detail. We have the seven of wands, the king of wands, and we have the happy forever life card, the ten of cups. So... You have to set boundaries from the people around you, particularly those of you uh, who are dealing with people that are what we refer to as naysayers, meaning they're really negative and they come in and they say, you can't have that. You don't deserve that. You aren't supposed to be there. What are you doing? You're a little cuckoo crazy for even looking at this video. These are people that don't understand inspiration on every level and it comes from all different types of forms of on the material plane. It doesn't just come from one well-known public speaker. It can come from the grocery store clerk right down the street from you that says something magical. 
that trips and enlightens you in that moment. So learning to block these people out is going to be a big, big deal. Creating a plan, organization, drawing out new boundaries for you on how people interact with you. You're going to turn your back on anybody that is um, not, not on your side, who is no longer a part of your life because they may be exactly what I just described. Um, that's how they treat you. Now, this King of Wands could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius as a Zodiac sign. Whoever this King of Wands is, even if it's an organization, there is a division between the two of you. You're creating a boundary, and they don't like it. Okay, They're not going to like it. They're going to turn their back. But because they turn their back, it's what brings in this new, beautiful Ten of Cups energy. So by you creating these boundaries and putting your foot down and saying, uh-uh, no more. I won't do it. I won't do it this way. That's not what the contract says. Uh, you can't talk to me this way. Whatever it is. It's like pulling your personal power back. Being charismatic for you as an individual. Standing out in a crowd and really, you know, the confidence that comes with the King of Wands is unbelievable. So this is you achieving over the next two weeks a heightened level of confidence and self-value that is going to affect your family in a very positive way. It will bring you exactly what you want. Abundance. That's happy home, a happy uh, career, a happy income, a happy life. And that's what you have coming in. Your whole family is going to love the new you as you go forward. So for those of you who have already been through this, we're going to take a look at a Beyond card from the deck that I created of how to move beyond. And let me uh, pull that for you now. Then we'll look at romance. We have the card saying collective consciousness wants you to enlighten your energy into self-love. And you can see how this fits this reading. No matter what way you look at it, Pisces, you're about love. You are absolutely about love. You love love. And we're not even talking about romance. You want to love your job. You want to love the people around you. However, we have to set those boundaries. And those boundaries are considered self-love. That is you healing yourself on a very profound level where you know it is part of your path. Through self-love, through self-respect, self-value, all of these wonderful, enlightened moments that you're just going to know, you know what, I've had enough. I'm not going to do it this way. You know what, I'm done with this job. I'm going to take this new job offer. Whatever it is, it's going to lead you beyond where you are today. So capturing your self-love, capturing your self-respect, all of these things is what's going to give you exactly what you want. That's the only thing holding you back from furthering your career, from furthering your education, from finding that piece of life that you feel like you fit in, whether that's a nonprofit organization, volunteering your time. It's, it's part of who you really are. You are about love. You're a giver in life. And you want to make sure through boundaries that you never get violated or taken advantage of again. That's self-love. So... I hope that helps you guys, and we're going to take a look at romance. If you are leaving me right now, I wish you a wonderful next two weeks. And remember, love is what changes the world, and it begins with self-love. Please thumbs up this video as we look at couples first and then singles. So couples, we have pay attention to the red flags. Self-love, pay attention to the warning signs around you because you and your partner whoever you're in a coupled relationship with, may be doing something a little different. There may be a third party involved in this situation. It might not be a person that you think. It may be an, a friend or a neighbor enabling them to continue to cross your boundaries, to violate you on some level, to disrespect you, and you need to really, you're being guided to really hone in on your own self-love and create a boundary that is established for every person, every situation. These are unbreakable boundaries because you know if you break the boundary, if they cross that line, it will lead you into a place of despair. 
So it isn't about being mean or cruel. It doesn't mean your heart is closed. Your heart is going to be open because you can see based on all the warning signs around you, whether your partner is being up and honest with you, whether this is going to turn and continue into a secure relationship, whether there's an outside interference such as career, something or a person coming in causing harm to your relationship. Look for the red signs. Look for those warning signs, the red flags. You'll know exactly what to do at that point in time. So singles, if you are a single individual, we have flirt. All right, you want a happy home, happy family life. You want to be in a relationship, but yet there may be those challenges along the way. Maybe you're picking a lot of frogs out there and not picking the prince or the princess. And they're saying you can get into the flirt zone. Flirting means self-love. So when you're dealing with somebody and you have two potential people coming in, both of them are going to be magnetic. Both of them are going to be very powerful individuals in your life. They will hold a lot of a powerful presence. These two people are options for you to create a wonderful relationship if you choose. But we want to start off by getting that relationship up and going. Flirting is a sign of self-love. Flirting is a sign of self-respect. I don't mean going, hey baby, let's go jump in bed. I'm talking about the coyness, the flirting, which is like a charismatic move, but it shows confidence, right? So in the movies, you've seen people do that and you're thinking, how do they do that? I can't do that. You're going to be learning how to do that with this new opportunity that's coming in and it is going to dazzle you. One of these people, whether there's one or more, there is someone going to come in and they are going to have like little, little, I want to say fairy dust. They're going to have like little fairy dust around them. Maybe you're going to see their aura. You're going to want to flirt to get to know them because they may very well be your new self-love, uh, self-representation of the soul connection that you've been wanting. Have an amazing week. Uh, two weeks. Thank you for watching. Much love.